Good evening, Stampin' Friends. How are you tonight? Welcome, everybody. We are live at Linda's Stampin' Escape. These little allergies have my voice a little wonky, but that's all right. I can still talk. <laughs> How is everybody this evening? Jump on in, say hello. As you can see, we're doing the In the Grove. I just got this this afternoon, so I'm feeling a bit rushed. <laughs> Hi, Barb. Hi, Joan. So I, I, I only had like maybe an hour to even start playing with this, but um, it was one of the bundles that was mentioned during our big online party that we just had. So I did get it and it came today. So I thought maybe we'd take a quick look at it. So welcome again, everyone. And how's everybody doing this evening? I hope well. I, I should have brought a, a water with me, but ah, that's okay. We'll make it through. So in the Grove, here is the stamp set. And I did try to play a little bit with this stamp. It's about five inches long. Um, wasn't going the way I wanted it to. So I don't have a card with the stamped images tonight, but you know, that'll come. I will get there. Um, but I, I did, I thought I brought that up here. Here it is. I did stamp the mountain scene. And I'm thinking that if I would do this again and I would want it darker, I would either use my Stamparatus or if you have another um, placement tool to use, you could do that. I still have my Stamparatus, so I use that a lot. Or I would emboss it because that way you just put a little Versamark down, sprinkle it with black embossing powder, and you would be good to go. So then you'd get that nice dark black image. So wish I would have tried that one first. Um, then I pulled out the dies because I wanted to work with, I wanted to get an edge on this. So I did the tree line. Let me show you that. That is right here. And yes, I do mark all mine so I can find them again. And when I die cut this, I never even looked at the bottom and noticed that it has no cut line. So that's what I got. But then I took it and actually, and oh, here it is. I double it. So I cut it once and then I cut it again. So now I have a really nice long tree line. So whatever image you is, now see how nice that would look with the um, mountains embossed. And it would give you a little more texture. So pretty, pretty cool. So using the Thoughtful Journey designer paper tonight. So you'll see more of that. So that is all I got done with my stamp set so far. Um, as you notice, there are no greetings in there. So all of my greetings that I'm using tonight are coming from the So Sincere stamp set. So let me just put this back here. And then this is what I made our two cards with. So this is the birch. I didn't get the other one that they still have in the catalog. Um, not sure what the name is. I should have wrote that down. But um, I love birch. So when you guys told me that this was something you wanted to see, that's when I decided to get this one. So you talked me into it. Didn't even have to twist my arm too much, did you? 
<laughs> okay, so let's pull this out of here. Page 70 is um, the page where the In the Grove is. We're just going to move that out of the way. And then we are going to start with our thoughtful journey. Um, I really wanted a lake effect on this one. So this is the pattern that I got. And then I cut my thoughtful journey down to five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then I die cut the white is five and a quarter by four inches. That is hard to see from there, isn't it? So this one here is five and a quarter by four, and then it leaves you a nice little frame all the way around. So easy breezy card here. Let me do this. Oh, okay. I'm holding my breath and I'm going to ask you to cross your fingers. So Again, so sincere, that's where this comes from. And it's a happy birthday. And I am going to actually line this up on the side. Hold my breath and hope I get that. Oh, yay. <laughs> it worked. And I'm stamping that in garden green because that is the color that I chose. So, you know. Flip this over and just use a little glue. Now, this guy's naughty because I tested him earlier to make sure he was going to work for me. There he goes. There we go. So I'm just going to come down a little bit. Not much in the trees. Just a little dot here and there because we're going to frame that whole piece on. There we go. So this is going to make some pretty quick and easy cards. And like I said, I die cut this designer paper just a little bit smaller. Oops. And I moved it when I flipped it. Just a little bit smaller than my die cut piece so that, you know, the edges didn't stick out on me. Not on this one. There we go. Hello, Beth. So look at how pretty that looks. And all you have to do now is add your card base, of course, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at five and a quarter. And here I'm just going to add my adhesive. Quick and easy. Happy birthday stamped on the side. It's kind of nice that they have a greeting that goes in this direction. So you could do something like that. Or you could just stamp it along here. So first card, super simple, nice and easy. And that is our In the Grove with Thoughtful Journey. All right. So I'm going to keep that one right here. And I had to step it up a bit. So I chose this one next. I'm not sure what direction this paper is supposed to go in, but I chose it this way. So I took this one and I cut it down to four by five and a quarter. So that's kind of going to be my um, background. So I took this, this is just the regular eight and a half by five and a half, again, scored and folded at four and a quarter. So that's my card piece there. And then I cut my designer paper down, this time to four by five and a quarter. So you're gonna get that look right there. Whoops, this is my bottom, there we go. So what I wanted to do on this one, I'm going to go black because our last one was white. So here's our last card. And so I'm going to go black. But see what I did on this one? I went smaller on the frame because I wanted the color to come out from underneath and just give you a total different 
All right. Thanks, you guys, for hanging around. <laughs> All right. I'm going to see if I can flip this back. Something's just, it's just not working the right way. So, did you ever do a handheld video before? I have not. But I will try just so you guys can see the rest of this. I am dipping this in here. And this is most embarrassing because I'm trying to stamp and hold my phone at the same time. So now I'm just brushing some of this color and I'm using the lemon lolly because I wanted it a little bit lighter so that it would fade out. Okay, see what we got? This is not going to work very good. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's what I got. And I'm just going to do a little brush of color over the top so it softens that up a little bit and kind of gives you that edge. So I'm just going to like put this here. I'm not, I can't glue it because my hands are not free. And I don't even know if anybody's still watching, but. I just may remake this video all over and delete this and thank all of you who came out. But I actually want StreamYard to tell me what's going wrong because I love the fact that I can get into certain modes. You know, we it worked last time, so I don't know. But anyway, there is my card. It looks really cool so i don't know i don't even know if anybody's still on but until i turn it off it says two people are watching so thank you um it's, it's kind of sad so i have no idea what's going on i see new comments here won't let me so <laughs> there's our card Oh, Barb says, I'm here. Oh, thank you, Barb. Yeah, I see there's two people still watching. Thank you, guys. Um, and I'm sorry for the shaky card, but um, there's kind of what I was hoping for. Look at how pretty. And then I did have a greeting that I was going to stamp, but oh, look what happens every time I move. So I was just going to um, put a greeting on. I'll put the cards on and I will probably redo this video and then repost it but like i said i want Streamyard to see this because i'm not going to pay for this service if it's not going to work so i don't know why i'm the only one having trouble <laughs> oh my gosh thank you ladies for joining me um those of you who were trying to watch me live your name will be in a drawing and i will probably post that yet tonight thank you so much oh there's our other card so thanks for watching and <laughs> have a good evening good night <laughs>